Hi everybody, it's Linda again on this beautiful day. We're having a great weather day here in Kentucky. I uh, just got in from a, a long walk with my husband, which was very refreshing and nice. But I wanted to take a few minutes and share my Bohemian uh, journal with you today. I uh, haven't named her yet. Uh, let's call her Susie. So she'll be Susie, and she's six, the cover is six, by ten and a half. And she's been sewn all the way around, and she has this gorgeous uh, glittery, not glittery, but it's a, a ribbon here uh, that she'll come with. And then whenever you open her up, she's really special because she is a handmade cover made like a quilt and she it, it's all hand sewn and embroidered and you can see the hand stitching here and it's all pieced together like a quilt and uh, I added some rhinestones and and um, hand crocheted uh, doilies here and she's got rhinestones all over that the I have glued she was she's just beautiful and she's very bohemian um, and then I added the, the lace, this gorgeous white vintage lace here, and another hand uh, sewn dually here, and here is all hand sewn. And then you have this butterfly with a little pearl. Here, let me turn her back around now. And you have a glassine pocket and a little bit of collaging here on the front. And then inside the pocket, you have. Uh, a tag and then three little uh, cardstock things that you can use as a uh, bookmark and and the glassine is open here and here now, now if I'm sniffling is uh, our everything is in bloom here in Kentucky and my allergies are really uh, going strong right now so I'm not a drug user, never use drugs, so it's not that. So I just wanted to clear that up right now. Uh, so whenever you open her up, you're going to see that she has a um, writing tablet that is chipboard. And I've covered and sewn it. Uh, you can see the stitching all the way around and put a little uh, hard uh, chipboard thing here for you to pull it out whenever you put, her, put it in here where you can get to it easily and you can write on the back anything that you want and then on the inside the bohemian to me is a lot of lace a lot of rhinestones pearls uh, anything out of the ordinary that's not glitzy but it's it's bohemian so I don't know how else to explain it I know sometimes my uh, I've done bohemians and I've just done a lot of beads hanging here and there um, but this one is a soft, ladylike bohemian uh, journal with a lot of special lace throughout, which I just love. This is a very antique lace that I bought at a uh, auction, and uh, like these are all hand done, and I buy them off of a shop in Etsy, and I've had them for years, and I don't remember where I got them. Uh, and then I have this little glittery. Uh, flat back stone here which is purple and some uh, glitter inside there and then you're going to see a lot of this because I really like this this is new for me with the pearls and the frilly lace uh, which is uh, has the rough edges and it's gathered and then on this side I have a uh, envelope for you a big long envelope and inside it has its own special little stationery that I ordered that you can either tear and use as uh, glue paper uh, inside the uh, journal or you can write a letter and it's a beautiful let me put that it's just gorgeous and it's got a real soft uh, expensive stationary feel and then this is music paper here and then you have more of this this is the same uh, 
motif that is on the well it's a different motif but it's the same that is on the uh, writing board here that's coming with Susie and then let's just take a quick flip through and you'll see all the different laces and the hand sewing it's just loaded and all of this beautiful paper which has a different unique feel to it and all the pockets you know me I always like pockets but I make sure that I leave enough uh, paper for you to uh, write on this is coffee stained very lightly coffee stained here's another lace that has some fringe on it it's very delicate this is a form of uh, watercolor paper that I have decoupaged and cut on to make a, a folder a journal let me get going here and here's this I don't know whether you can see that on the camera or not but it's a beautiful uh, neutral print uh, of French here and here you can see the the uh, lilac uh, thread a lot of decoupaging flowers a pocket I thought that open and it does it's not really a pocket more lace she's a big girl she's going to be part of my big collection uh, but if you enjoy big thick beautiful journals this is another one to add to your collection this is another vintage uh, lace that I bought at an auction uh, downtown they were they had this huge antique store that had been there forever uh, and they had a lot of hand uh, lace tablecloths and things like that and I bought the whole lot of them haven't started to use them yet until now and this is part of that so it's hand done and it's probably really really old Tracy Fox's little journaling card. Another little different lace for you. Little ruffles. This is a bag, a purple stripe, and then a huge tag, white, heavy cardstock tag that's been decorated. And you can go in the back or inside the bag. Sorry, silk tie. another real frilly lace there's a lot of this type of lace in here here's another one these are prisms flowers I've had them for quite a while fold out another of that stationery uh, it came with like five different designs I think it has an exquisite feel to it very springy a lace pocket a penny uh, money envelope it has another uh, different vintage lace natural color and a little uh, crocheted flower here and a another one of those beaded uh, flat back stones out envelope we've got uh, a heavy cardstock 
journaling card and a lined journaling card. That was a folder and a card. Another different type of uh, gathered lace. Just, I try to make every page enticing for the user to, uh, whenever they're flipping through their journal, uh, this was just like that. It doesn't do it both ways. And then a dually. Whenever you're flipping through, I want interest every time uh, you uh, flip through a page. Now this is a hand-sewn uh, little square. Uh, that was stitched around for the, no I'm sorry, this is a machine stone all the way around and then you got a guamet there and then I just put the string in there. Again a lot of sewing throughout. Little sayings. Another little flower stuck here on the edge and here. I love these colors. This is some uh, deckled uh, watercolor paper that I've torn up and, and made it this size. The ruffle again. Nice white. Clip this one on. That way you can use this the right. And then on the back or you can move it wherever you want. This is one of those big uh, envelopes that, that you fold mailing envelopes. And inside you have postcard and a big uh, journaling folder here. Which is, it's all very springy and colorful light and fun uh, like the bohemian era was a uh, fun era in our time and then you can put something here if you want to just look at those colors these are watercolored uh, pages out of a 12 by 12 European book that I have and then you can see the fun fabric that lines the uh, spine inside it doesn't really have a spine. It's a soft spine, but I lined it anyway to uh, give it more substance. And you'll see little bits of this throughout. And then you have, this is the heavy uh, watercolor paper that is deckled edges. And another watercolor sheet here. I used uh, in this cute, this real frilly lace, and then I did this little bow there, that little two tone. But I was going to say, I use a lot of the uh, book pages here. It's out of my book, uh, Rachel. And then I did a a pretty good size uh, writing tablet with different kinds of water paper, different weights, and, and notebook paper in. And then uh, then I did this just to give it a, a closure look. And then sew in all the way around. And you're going to see quite a few of these colorful uh, hand things throughout that I keep pointing out. And the laces. It's all about the laces to me in this book and the color and the different textures of the paper and the different, you know, treatments of the colors. This is a watercolor sheet. I guess you could say it's a little bit of botanical bohemian. Definitely lace. Here's a fold out. Another big envelope. I think you have three.
this is a some heavy uh, cane uh, stationery that I had and I just cut this one piece in this really cream easy cream vanilla color and I use quite a few different ones of this this look throughout Isn't that gorgeous this purple Another fold out, which is a pocket. Another one of these. Oh no, it's stuck almost side. Let me see. There we go. another little collage folder. Now you can take some of these papers and finish this is what I was thinking if you wanted to or maybe you have some interesting old papers or some thin books that you can tear up and, and there's plenty of room for you to put them at different places throughout this journal if that's what you want to do uh, along with your writing. You know, like all of this little stuff. I left plenty of room. Oh, I love this paper. This, this. These are handmade uh, papers uh, that I purchased whenever I was really doing a lot of art, wall art. And uh, this is the type of paper that I use because you you can put anything on it, uh, mixed media, and it has. These are the natural deco edges. getting to the back and this is the back and you got a journaling card here folder and let me show you the back again it's just a beautiful and it just fits bubbly in your hand and so this is Susie and Susie will be going up uh, probably sometimes tomorrow for the weekend and I have been working with on a customer order uh, off and on uh, throughout this journal and then my Edgar Allan Poe which is sold well, thank you very much uh, sold and already been mailed out and everything but this is Susie and I like to show you different styles that I do uh, that I really like to and enjoy I enjoy making my journals uh, this is what I do and I enjoy different styles of journals and I hope you do too and I thank you very much for watching today you be safe and be well and I will see you my next time out thanks a lot bye bye